what's really significant about this is that this is a uh, marshland right here in the middle of uh, East Santa Cruz Island. A marshland being a, um, an environment that has uh, relatively rare plants in it. They're uh, wetland plants, plants that are very high uh, in salt tolerance and that plants that can be inundated usually in the winter time and spring uh, and still uh, hold the soil in place and survive and not wash away. Um, these kinds of environments are, are getting more and more rare in California. Um, marshes and estuaries, uh, sloughs, that sort of place, because we like to build airports on them and housing and uh, even dumps. People built dumps like crazy along coastal California. So here in uh, East Santa Cruz Island, this whole area has been reworked for ranching over time. Um, and uh, it also gets scoured out by flooding, and there's a lot of issues with that. Um, so this, this environment probably doesn't look exactly like it did uh, 150 years ago, but it gives you an, an idea of the kind of marsh that was probably in here before uh, ranching times. Some of the significant plants that we see here are uh, marsh frankinia, and we see uh, quail bush, and we also see a, a, a diminutive little um, annual uh, or um, uh, native here called alkali weed. All of these plants are, are found in fewer numbers on the mainland, so they're getting kind of rare there, and you don't see them very much on Santa Cruz Island either, just in a few spots. So this is kind of a special place. Uh, Channel Islands Restoration has planted some of these plants in here to kind of augment the ones that are already here, and they're doing really well. So I'd like to show you in some detail some of these plants. So this is um, the Cressa, the alkali weed, and a little bit of uh, detail here with its cute little blooms. It generally blooms from May through September. So you'd actually see this as kind of a late bloomer compared to a lot of the other plants that we see blooming in spring. So if you're here a little bit later in the season, you, this might be something that you could point out to visitors. If you get down really closely with a hand lens uh, or with a camera, uh, with a good lens, you can see how intricate the flowers are. They're really kind of pretty. And one of the things I'm just noticing in this area is how easily these things get trampled by visitors, though. Up here on the um, the uneven side of this little area, the um, plants are in good shape, but down where it looks like people have been walking, they're, they're pretty uh, uh, damaged. So they're pretty sensitive. Just in general, our marsh plants in Southern California have really disappeared because our marshlands uh, are just a fraction of what they used to be. They've been so uh, decimated by development. Okay, we're looking here at Frankinia salina. This is um, alkali heath. And this is another late bloomer, uh, something that you'll find blooming basically June through October. And it's another marsh plant. This one's a little more common than the Cressa, but still, in general, there's a lot less Frankinia in the world than there used to be. Uh, right now, this time of year, Frankinia has got gorgeous little pink flowers on it. So if you're careful and you can bring visitors in close to this without trampling anything, it's kind of a neat uh, green plant as everything else is kind of turning dry this time of year. Uh, interesting note about Frankinia on Anacapa Island, it grows um, with the ice plant on Anacapa, the ice plant tends to dominate. But if you remove the ice plant, the Frankinia really takes off and uh, fills in where the ice plant has been on some of these wetter locations on East Anacapa Island. So we're very hopeful um, that Ultimately, a lot of those areas where there's ice plant on East Anacapa may end up looking like this.